going to be on by next. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, any other business? <laughs> no, that's it. We can go now. Right, apologies for absence then. Uh, I've had apologies from Councillor Glenn. Right, I'm happy to accept those. No? Yeah, okay. Right, declarations of interests. Um, I, I'll have to reserve the right to declare a, a dec an interest later on if I notice one. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think, I think I've got any, but um, let's, let's see how we go up. Right, representation from interested parties. So that's nobody's interested, but there's no parties here. Doctor Mr. Richard Foster. Oh, he's not. No, he shouldn't be on there. He's oh, not right. here this week. He was there last. He was here the last time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Doctor Smith accidentally left that. him in there. We know how the minutes are done now, don't we? <laughs> yeah, yes. so that's it. He left him on there. Right. Consideration of a request from interested parties again. There aren't any. Right. And down to the minutes of the previous meeting then. Are there any questions raised in those? Yes. I'm proposing. Oh, that's <laughs> right then. I'll second it. Right. All those in favour? Right, here we're here. You're right, okay. I told you it's Take those off before I write on them. Right then, into the meaty stuff then. Received the balance sheet, budget account, trade, hub trading account, and that from November 2019. So, what questions do we have over this? Have any? Is that the gavel then? No, is there, is, are there any questions from me? Or we're just happy to accept them. Excellent. Okay, well, they'll receive, aren't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. On to the two grant applications from the, um, the, the Vintage Festival. This one's a little bit post dated, but. Yeah, I think they were actually intended to fit in that way. Yeah, so I see, see the one is for the signs that we're using ourselves. So it's a, yeah, that we're, yeah, it's like a communal yeah. um, bank of signs. Should we therefore all declare an interest if we're getting the use of it? <laughs> <laughs> mm, possibly. As I, as I saw it, we've, we've missed a chance on a bit of VAT on this one, but... Um, Should we pass it? No, we can't. Who keeps the signs? Emma? Sorry? Who keeps the signs? Where, where are the uh, stores? They're kept in a, um, a store that... Uh, Philip, no, it's not Billy Pants, it's the Amble Festival store. Okay. Um, I don't know where it is. Uh, uh, the, the only reason I asked that uh, some years ago we had a similar situation and suddenly nobody knew where they were. Mm. No, they're in the, the Amber Festival. They've got a lock of I'm thinking it's near the wall, but I might have to play that up. So, just on a little technicality, if we bought these signs off, off the festival, do we save the VAT on it? Um, sorry, I'm not quite... Well, the, 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 the one about the, the, the road signage was they paid the 700 and something pounds for, including VAT. Yeah. If we, if we purchased them off them... Well, they were bought some time ago. Yeah. So I don't think you would... No, you know, okay. Unless they can charge us And VAT, if we bought them off them... They're probably, yes, yeah, all right. Then and then... Just going on the second point in that, raised in that then, is about ownership of them. You know, should we be owning the Mandel Town Council rather than the, um, the, the uh, vintage mm -hmm. festival group? Well, they, they originally bought, bought them. them. I understand that bit, yeah. Um, and I think at the time they were going to come here for a grant. But think that was last year, but then yeah. things have moved on since. But we've now decided that... Um, with what sort of signage we've got, what Amber Festival has got, and then what they bought, yeah. we're now going to keep. We're now going to keep it all together. Yes. Um, some of ours we're not, but um, so that we can all use them. Mm. So 
they are the uh, they are sort of owned by the vintage festival, but yeah. we can all okay. use them. So everybody's happy with that. We, we can take, take these two requests individually, can't we? Yeah, that, that one seems to be the easier one to discuss. Are we all happy with the arrangement, or no. you're not? Right. Well, not in the sense that I had originally anticipated that that event this year was a one-off. Clearly, it doesn't appear to be. Hmm. But unless they keep going in perpetuity, if they're their signs, what happens if the organisation Bombs. simply ceases to exist anymore? And I can't see that that is going to go on every year. Mm. They will stay centrally to be able for us to use and for our festival to use and any and other organisation in town. And then made them available to people like the Vintage Festival or what have you, rather than, in a sense, paying somebody else to have them who might or might not continue in existence. And then you may end up in the situation that Chris has had many years to go, which is that if that organisation folds and suddenly we can't find them anymore, it's 700 quid right. Yep. Uh, we need them. I know we, we need them. them. We need them. Yeah, so that's why I'm suggesting. But I also think that can't our just festival buy them them. also use them and they're in our festival yeah. lock up there if it is. Mm. I mean, I'm not expecting they're going to fold. But they might. But I mean, they might fold. Yeah. You know, anybody could fold. But if we, if but we got them declared as as Anderson Council property, mm -hmm. didn't matter where you keep them. You know, it's purely that they belong to Anderson Town Council. So I, if either organisation fold, they come back to us. But then, if they around. folded, I would think they would come back to us anyway. Not necessarily. Well, yeah, yeah, just, just, just on a simple technicality here, you know, we can just go through it here. We're quite happy to pay the money for them, but you know, we'd like them to be good our property. I think the other thing is, logical. Is, that, is that if they do fold, right, and let's say they owe money to other people, then those other people could actually take those away and, and sell them on to make, get the money back. Yeah. 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 Exactly. Yeah. Whereas if they're in our name, they can't. Mm. I can't. I can't see the Vintage Festival owing loads of people money and having bailiffs coming and taking signs. Mm. No, I'm not saying that you get bailiffs. What I mean, they're, they're is, only like, they're not really, you know. Yeah, but if they just decided not to do it anymore, and those things disappeared... Then they would probably just hand them over to the Yeah, but they could, get, they could equally just disappear. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I would put the question to them. You know, can, can we buy them off them? Go on, maybe. Can I have just simply propose that we'll... If, we, if we're, we're going to pay for them, them if whatever the way, you're the going to pay for them if, if we give a grant. Sorry, David. Sorry. Well, I was going to say, I'm happy to propose that actually we will pay... The this money to buy them off them if they're, if they're interested in doing it that way around. Oh, I imagine that I can't see why they wouldn't be. Yeah, they'd yeah, rather have the money yeah. than the sign. Yeah. I, 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 I would say that that was certainly safe enough around that. Okay. All right. Mm. Okay. So it's a bit more work, Anna, but you know, if you mm. could ask them and uh, if there's a problem, then they, yeah, uh, Council Appeal knows uh, Philip Amp. I'm going to keep talking to Philip over every bloody thing. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I can't see them being a problem with it. Yeah. No, I, I think, you know, yes. as everybody says, you know, we'll give them money, but we want the ownership. No, yeah, I don't agree that. No, no. no. Refuse the grant and buy them. Yeah. Or put it. Right, so I don't know how we, we... I think we've had a proposal and a seconder. Yeah. And all those in favour? Sorry. So what are you proposing at the moment? Pay grant we, or no? We offer to buy them, them for what they paid for them mm -hmm. for the, the basis. Of them. Sorry. The second hand. Yeah, the second hand. Yeah. Doesn't make any difference. <laughs> <laughs> right. don't, don't make it too that, <laughs> that, That's our offer. But after if we bought them outright, <laughs> we've said they deteriorated <laughs> to second hand value by now anyway. Yeah. So whether they depreciate in their hands or ours makes no difference. It's it's really really so yeah. We would have done, had we managed to do it from the outset. We didn't know that. Oh, we're damned. So I think, is that the thing, Evan, for me, the, the, the biggest risk is, is that you know, they the lose volunteers and these have got locked away somewhere <coughs> and nobody knows where they are. Yeah, it might even happen under our ownership of them. Right, now the other one uh, is. 600 pounds. 
Yes, so this was £600. Quite get this. This was £600 to pay us our fee, wasn't it? Well, basically, what this is what happens um, with the food festival or used to. Um, we charge them £600 to use the marketplace. Yep. And they, and I, I can't remember the last time the food festival did this, but they used to get a grant to pay towards it. So instead of us saying, we'll give you the marketplace for free, mm -hmm. we sort of say yeah. that this is our yeah. charge for the marketplace, but then we can sort of choose whether we give them a grant for yeah. it. No, or no that's we, fine. And I'm, I'm, I'm happier for it to be this way. Yeah, right. oh, that's fine. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, that, that we keep it very clear between what we're doing for free and what, you know, what, what is a grant. Uh, but please discuss, uh, uh, Roy. Well, it's a well-established um, arrangement we have with lots of other people, yeah. um, where they um, get facilities from us, either rooms or space in the market or whatever it might be, and then they apply for grants um, yeah. to to offset the cost of it. So I can't see that this one is any different to all of those. Well, if I, if, I, if I put a crazy case to you, if the Bavarian market came and said they wanted to have a beer festival in the middle of Amber, and since we allowed the, uh, the, the vintage market to have the town centre for free, could they have it for free? Which principle is it that will work? We're not giving it for free, are we? Well, we're giving them the £600 back that yeah. we're charging them. Yeah. So if, if another market organisation came, which principle is it that says this one gets the money? We would have thought that this is not for profit. Whereas yeah, the and it's, it's an idea based, is. Yeah. Right. <coughs> <coughs> I, 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 I an Each, volunteer each of these things. items coming to us for permission to hold their event, we decide whether they will hold their event. So it might be that we wouldn't want a Bavarian market if we do, we may not give them a grant towards it. Yes. Uh, so they're two separate issues though, aren't they? If you think about it, you know, uh, I'm not being old, uh, but Arundel businesses do make a profit from these things because... Yes, they, so they donate it to charity, don't they? No, I'm talking about the actual shops that are open that make money. Yeah. Mm. Okay. No, I just, want, you just wanted to make sure we had a principle, and I think it's there, you know, essentially, this is a not-for-profit organisation and they're making an application for a grant and the Bavarian people would not be able to make an application for well, a I think grant the Arundel Business, business Association in that case then should make sure that they actually go to all the businesses in Arundel and talk to them because nobody ever comes around to Eastwood Road or any of the areas outside the centre and outside the influence of, of uh, West Street and North Street okay. and the wharf. It's not something that uh, local businesses actually do deal with. It's more of a, right. a clique. Mm. Does that affect the decision we've got to make at the moment? Well, it would for me. Yeah. Because they don't. Oh, you, you'd have to be careful on vested interest in this conversation. I'm, 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 I'm not being. I'm not in vested interest. What yeah. I'm saying is that you know it's supposed to be inclusive, but it never is, and, and I think that's a bit wrong. Right. I'm just thinking in terms of the conclusivity part of the conversation, you know, in, in terms of where they're giving the money to, that, that isn't in any question. No, no, no. no I, I appreciate what you're saying. Purely the people they involve in it. And you're mm. saying they could involve a few more people. Yeah. So it's just a case of getting that message to them, isn't it? Yeah, because I know that they reach out and they try to get everybody involved. Mm. And right. they, they get pretty poor response from many areas. Yeah, no, but I, I, no. I don't think that that conversation then should affect no, this no, decision. No, no, I'm just saying, no, you know, the Arundel Business Association does not represent Arundel businesses no. as a whole. No. It represents probably 20% of them. Yeah, and in this this application here is from the Arundel Vintage Festival, yeah, yeah which rather is, than which from, yeah. from uh, to promote Arundel uh, and Arundel's business. Yes, mm -hmm. not. You know, I, I agree with what you're saying. I'm just saying that it's it's not all inclusive. No. Well, as I can make them upset them with my first proposal, can I cheer them up with my second proposal? Can we give them the six hundred pounds at once? I have no objections to giving them the six hundred pounds. Just want to make. Just remind me who seconded the first proposal. Uh, who's 
you, you seconded the first proposal. Yeah, but yes. Yeah. Right. So I've got this desperate deadline that Peter's given us at 8 o'clock. Oh, yeah. Come on, hurry up. <laughs> right, Stop so talking. we've got a proposal. I'd like to second this one. Yeah. All those in favour? to get the um, band D right for the next dietary yeah. but I haven't been able to get it. Um, I, it's going, it will be higher yes. this year. Um, well, I'm 99.9% sure it will be higher. Um, so that will have a bearing on, our, on the immune force. It Sorry. means that what we've got written there Sorry. technically will be less come next year. Yes. Yeah. So you're looking there that, that this is going to be a, a, a virtually an eight percent increase in the budget. Apart no, from what Emma has just said. Twenty twenty one is You wanted five percent. That was your target. Yes, it was. And you're on five point eight six percent. Oh, okay. Well, I'm looking at seven point eight two for some reason. Well, yeah, that's not? that's just the, that's the average. average. The last seventeen years. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Right. okay. So the average increase in the last 17 years has been just it's a bit Yeah. You requested a target for 25%. Yes. And... You've got it down to 5.86%. Five point it's 5.86%, five and that's based on everything we've discussed last time, which was... I hope you wanted to reduce from uh, perspective £35,000 loss down to zero. Yeah. You change that to be a two thousand pound loss, as opposed to a um, cost neutral. The other small so change. Did you back it back up a bit then? Oh, I'm looking for two thousand pounds in there. Well, that one was the figures that you were saying was um, you wanted that to be cost neutral. Yeah. So you, you took the staffing and the the food costs down by fifty percent. Yeah. Okay, and that gave us the yeah two thousand. Yeah. All right. And the changes were cemetery repairs and maintenance. The original draft was 1,000. Draft 2 was um, 6,000. Yep. Churchyard changed from 500 to 2,000. Herm Park dropped from 32 to 10. Drillwall Car Park, 1,004 to 3,000. Synthesized Car Park lost completely because it's not their responsibility. Yep. Public conveniences, 1 to 5. Occupation road 500 to a ground, recreation ground 5007, youth activities in the recreation ground gone completely. Yeah. St Christopher's Drive 1 to 1.5, Jones Trauma Centre 1 to 5, and this is on the basis of uh, the request. The roof, we've got a, yeah. it's, it's, there's a split in the roof, and we're yeah. almost certain it's an asbestos roof. So, so it's not going to be repaired as, as soon as. We look well, you wouldn't have to swear in these places. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mention that Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Can you not just overlay that? I don't know. We've got to get something to come out of that. Yeah. Scouts even put a tent over it. <laughs> Tree works at 5,000. Uh, maintenance in the workshop uh, from 20 down to zero. A marginal drop in the insurance. Professional memberships. The same, eventually, it's going to be the same. Tourism, the same. Computer expenses. Flat and house repairs and maintenance went up by 5,000. 
and the others remain the same. And there's one other query about the flatten house broadband in which everyone else gets it free, but we charge volunteer action, okay. which we historically have. And I don't think that's fair. And um, that was something which. So we're going to charge the others, are we? Well, yeah, we can do. It's two ways of looking at every situation. But we do advertise free Wi Fi downstairs. But what this does to downstairs, not upstairs. So it seems only fair that we don't charge them for that. So the offices can all move downstairs and get free Wi Fi? Yeah. Mm. yeah. And the sum total of all of those things dropped you from where you were before to 5.86%. If you're going to go to a seven and a half percent increase, that four nine four figure, you'd need to be found out another eight thousand pounds. If you wanted to increase the the preset by seven and a half percent, if you increase it to ten percent, then you can play with another twenty odd thousand pounds. I, I, I really don't want to. But I know your target was you wanted five percent. Well, I mean, it'll be interesting discussion in here now and with the full council yeah. whether even 5% is acceptable. But, uh, but uh, as Terry pointed out, over the last 17 years, the average has been 7.82%. And invariably, when you drop the percentage low, as has happened, every autumn the next year, it goes up by 10%, drop yeah. in 2017 up to 11% the following year, and so on. Every time you keep it low, Increases dramatically the following year, which means there's more of a hit the following year. Yeah. So currently you're up 5.86% with all the things that you originally had, plus the changes that myself, Terry, and Emma have made. Okay. And the other issue that I believe in there is that we're not keeping the three month uh, budget that we should do in our reserve no, no. no. So we've got we're no way. We're significantly short there, which is part of the Things have happened this year, like the courthouse roof, like a number of other things where suddenly if things do happen, you change the military council and the money doesn't come through when you want it to come through. You obviously can't afford to be in a position where you can't pay normal bills. Right, let me say that I've misunderstood the figures, but our 1920 budget is projected to have an underspend of eighty odd thousand pounds. Sorry? At the moment, yes. Yeah. So if we did underspend by eighty thousand pounds. That's good, it'll build our reserves up. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. It might enable us to have a transfer into reserves of some of that <coughs> underspend money. Mm. Well, it's not going to be 80, it's going to be less than 70, because we've got 12 grand bill for the four counts of fire. <coughs> but I take the point, hopefully if we can do whatever we can save in inverted commas, we can um, put towards our reserve, which, we, which is underfunded at the moment. And also on the subject of reserve, now, did you want to agree a figure for reserves? Because theoretically, and it was decided within finance to say it's going to be an average of three months worth of expenditure. But obviously that's variable. <coughs> I thought it would be better to have it as something like £150,000. Emma thinks it should be £200,000 as a target to, to aim for every year. So you always have got those funds available. How much is three months expenditure as a matter of interest? Uh, three months expenditure would be, it's about £54,000 a month at the moment, so £160,000. Mm. I'm sure that that figure of three months, as opposed to a sort of specific figure, was one that we were recommending. There's no records. There, there are recommendations of it being three months, but it depends on the size of council. The smaller the council, the higher it should be. So if you're a tiny parish council, mm. it should be more like six months. Um, but it's not a law, it's not set in stone. It's no, just what we, um, but that's why we had a conversation about yeah. it, and it's whether you run it at three months or whether you say, right, 
we're going to have it at a certain figure and they're not going to, you know, we're going to agree that we're going to have, say, 200,000 in our reserve. I mean, you can't always say that because you never know what might happen one year when you extend it. But ideally, you then try and then build it back up again. But on, but on this sort of thing with our accounts, mm. when, when you're talking about this reserve, are you talking of the reserve at the bottom of the sawtooth or halfway up it? Well, we're very rarely at the stage of having the revenue reserve, what we should have, because it's okay. always it into. E even at the peak? Yeah. yeah. So after we've got the precept in, you know, we yeah. should be cash rich, shouldn't we? I mean, we were at cash rich in terms of these figures are year end figures. So the figure that I put into there, which was Right. So the purpose of the reserve is that during that calendar year, yeah. you know, to if protect you. you. Yes. Mm. So we aren't going to go bust. We always have sufficient funds to cover ourselves, but when it comes towards the end of the year, we're lower than we should be. Yeah. Because, mm. you know, if you got terribly, terribly bad, you'd say you'd take a loan out to make sure you've got that money there. Yeah. But it, it isn't, you know, if you just find a point in time, I mean, I don't, you don't bother. I'm you not sure what you would sort of think about if you were if you were going to be doing that. Well, you, we, we've got we've got our money in power. The whole loan. idea is if you if you have reserves and you say that's what you're going to keep, you don't go into them. So that when one particular year you do have to, for whatever reason, the next year when you're going you know going through your budget, you re, you recoup it, you mm. get it back. Yes. But you know, when I talk about taking a loan out, you know, to make sure you've always got that, you know, the difference between cash and your liability bits, isn't it? You know, you're talking in this thing about having enough cash to cover you if your, your preset money doesn't come in. You know, that's why you take a loan out while you can, because nobody gives you a loan when you need it. In theory, if we don't get the preset in, then the government have gone bust. Yes, but the well, moment, yeah, we quite possible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, on the 13th. Yes. Oh, <laughs> it may be something that might happen when we change over to a unitary yeah, authority. It could be a delay. There may well be a problem um, with with getting funds out that April mm. yeah. after yeah. it officially changes over, uh, and you might well need that three months' money. Then you'll get it eventually, um, as Paul says. You know. The government doesn't go bust, so they, we, we get it back. But uh, we might we need a contingency for that. So it, that's one occasion when we might need to call upon it. Mm. So we need to make sure it's there and big enough. And this comes back to the 5.86%. Because <coughs> last year there was £60,000 for NCC money, which in theory we didn't beat into, but we did. Yeah. It still hasn't boosted as I think we had that the previous year, didn't we? Yeah, it wasn't this. What was it, 1890? Yeah. Yeah. We still never reached the stage of having sufficient to cover ourselves. But if we know, if we have an agreed figure of 160 or 200, whatever it is, and at least when it comes down to budget, we can say we need to replace the reserves that we don't no longer have. We must mm. ensure that we put another twenty thousand pounds in to put us back to where we should be. Mm. And part of the reason for that is, if that money is there and the roof falls off the courthouse, we can deal with it immediately. Because twenty-four thousand pound for a courthouse roof is a lot of money. But if it was significantly worse, one, you've got to replace the roof. Two, you lose the income from the tenants. Yeah, yeah. The double whammy. Yeah. yeah. Keep it simple, Paul. I understand that, you see. Other than remedy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, thank you. Not that one. No, no. There's never been another solution to anything. So, our year end reserves this year look like they're going to be what? At the moment, <coughs> we're down to around about £88,000, £86,000 for which isn't as much as it should be, obviously. No. But you said that we think there'll be some surplus yeah. which can go into reserves yeah. for maybe 60,000. Hopefully, yes. So that'll get us, what, 150 ish? It depends on what you're optimistic about. Closer to 150 than we are at the moment, yeah. Surely we should just buy the bullet, bullet and just go for 7.5%. 
to make I sure. Admit, I'm tempted to say if that's been the average over the last 17 years, at least we could say we've not put it up. This, this is, this is <laughs> part of the, you know, this is this is what, what has historically happened because it's quite nice to be able to turn around and say actually you know, historically it's been increasing at this rate and look we're nearly two percent now in that or one point whatever it is. Um, I think you've got to you've got to look at it as a, a, you've got to have some wiggle room because you never know what's going to happen in the next twelve months. I mean, they could be could be anything, couldn't they? And as you say, with the new unitary and things like that, that's the delay. If we've got that little bit of bit more of a cushion, but, but in reality, it doesn't give us a cushion until this time next year. No, I know that. But what I'm saying is, the following year is when we have this problem with the unit, utility the unit, unitary. Uh, council. It's not this year we're having it. it. It'll be will be the following year, which is when we might need this extra cushion. And there's always the. Um, I mean, I don't. They're not saying that they're going to cap it for town and parish councils yet, but I think there will be a time when they they might might decide to do that, and then you don't get the option. Mm. You're going to you know, without having to go to a referendum. When it comes to capping. What happens then? Well, if they cap it, say three percent, and let's yeah. say one year, yeah. you know, you're looking at you need to spend more money. If you need, if you want to go over three percent, you have to go to referendum. I don't know whether it was capped at a percentage or whatever you had the year before. No, it's three, so I think yeah, it's a three percent increase from the year before. Okay. Yeah. At least it is for district and county. Yeah. It's very important that you. I thought I'd seen you do the following two years the I same exercise, but I don't see it here. It what did that come out at percentage wise? That's of interest. I guess. I think it was because uh, a lot of things we were trying to do over the three years were this year, yeah. next year, the year after, and then in Terry's grand plan, it's all been done by then. Yeah. <laughs> we can't find anything else to spend any money. I think the thing is, of course, you've got three years of wage increases. <laughs> That's for a start. Sorry. I'm not being funny, but there is, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, you know, it all has to be built in. Who are you listening to? Labour, Conservatives? I was just going to say, there's I'm no not, talk about this minute. That's why I understand. I presume it has been built in. You've not kept it. You've got I'd like to do it too. Yeah, we've not it's heard anything uh, at all uh, with regards to wages at the moment. There but I mean, no in general, you've included inflation in the future. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But at what rate? 2%. 5% of the rate of two years for 21, 22, 22, 23. Oh, 5%? Mm. Not each year. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying that's not that's not you know what happens on the high street, though, is it? Can you only guess at morning? Well, yeah. I mean, if you look at uh, uh, the, the business I'm in, I'm looking at a seven half to ten percent next year increase in actual costs. Do you want me to build in the wages on the same principle? Seven half to ten. Yeah. No, I'm not talking about wages, I'm talking about, oh, oh, sorry, I'm talking I about we basic about wages. costs. You know, you can't fit now, there's a message there. <laughs> no, it's, it, I mean, you know, I mean, obviously I've had to build in the fact that we might not be in the EU, and that's going to raise my prices by about 7.5 to 10% minimum. Well, we don't that's have to be I, I only wanted to know the figure, just, I don't even know what to say. I'm just I, 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 see I what it told me, if anything, but I'm not sure it does. I still go back to the fact that we, we should actually... Give it a bit more uh, increase, Jenny. Yeah, I, I was just observing that in the, in the couple of years, 2021, 2022, um, we're probably at about 7.5 average over the two. So, I, yeah, I'm a bit low to say this because I, in, as a general principle, I really do think we should try a lot harder to keep increases down at much more closer to RPI, which you know, is, is obviously significantly lower than these numbers. But, um, I guess there's a, there's a bit of an argument that says, you know, seven and a half now, seven and a half next is at least 
trying to keep it manageable. Um, I'm a bit amused by the way me and you have changed seats. Because <laughs> I'm like, this is a terrible thing, Mum. Well, well, <laughs> last, I mean, last year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that's... It's the seats. I suppose, I suppose... No, 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 However, you've got to acknowledge that there's an awful lot of stuff that we've you know, been touched on that is coming and hitting us at the moment. Our reserves are down because of maintaining the estate, basically. Yes. Um, yeah. And you know, whilst you've got to bear in mind and always remember that there are people within our parish who will struggle with an increase of any size, then there's also probably quite a lot of people who actually would rather we have the money to do what we think the town needs to, yeah. to have done rather yeah. than let it go into a further state of disrepair. That's, yeah. that's, I mean, my thoughts are that when you look at the budget as it is now, it literally is just maintaining our state. Yeah. We're not actually adding anything else. Yeah. Mm. And that concerns me too. <coughs> so we're going to do so something else tomorrow. Just in terms of the 300 houses that we're about to gain, what, what do they do to our, our uh, financial impact? Perhaps we should add the words, if the developers get their way. <laughs> well, <laughs> that we, that get our money, we would be able to get more money. For yeah, us. so I'm just thinking about that, what, what that looks like in the percentage terms we're talking about. Is it, put, it would put up what, how we work it from the band D way. But, um, but would it bring it down to 1%? I think, I think, didn't, didn't we discuss this last time, didn't we? Didn't we conclude when we, we raised this last time that it's just a windfall for NCC? Um, oh, sorry, no, it no, is. No, it's for no, us as well. We, we, we get, get the impact. Not, not in the next flash year. No, no, because I'm two years uh, uh, away before. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. So, but the so next flash year is making a difference. We won't, yeah. get, it, we won't get anything next but year. It, it's only just on how close to the wind you'll, that you'll do this, uh, uh, this reserve. Yeah. You know, if you know there's a big lump coming. But uh, yeah. uh, any oh, idea, yeah. Paul, what, what it would mean if we had another 300 houses in the town? How many, no, how, many houses, yeah. how many houses yeah. have we got in the town approximately? Have we got 3,000? No, I don't think it's that, but it's about two, two and a half thousand. Which is more than 10%. Two, 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 two. It's about 10% in increase. Yeah. yeah. We've got a band on this one, which is 300 yeah. times. <coughs> so, it's about 9,000 pounds, isn't it? Yeah. It would be helpful if you had the tax base number before, but... Yeah. yeah no, I don't know. It's, 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 it's only like just thinking about this reserve and you know how far we're going to go in the future. So if I do a really crappy job on my my, my speech on the seventeenth, yeah, we get a lot of money in. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. So ply with me with alcohol, and we get a bigger income. And if we and if we get our neighbourhood plan through as well, we can have six hundred thousand. Do you mean if we don't get our neighbourhood? <laughs> no, no, if you have two of them, you have all of the houses. Yeah. All right, so just back to, uh, to square one, if you like, just on the straightforward budget. You know, do we, do we want to increase this budget up to that 7 or 8%, or are we going to put, put the challenge on to keep it within the... Uh, well, you say 5.8% might be a bit lower because yeah, of the, the, the band. Well, it's only another 1.6%, uh, 1.64%, I don't think. Well, in terms of pounds no. per year, it isn't a lot of pounds per year per... No, I know. Mean, if we're going to do it for two years, and then maybe have a but, windfall but on it the does third look, year. It does look horrible on a graph that, that people like me draw. It's a 25% increase. I know that. 1.6%. Yeah. Yeah. That's overall, why you've said 1.6%. <laughs> <laughs> So if this if this group is behind something, it'll carry it through the council. You know, is this group behind a, a number at the moment? Well, I would go for seven point five. Roy, you, you mean? I'd like to be nearer to the five point eight six, I think, than the seven point okay. five. Right. So that's two to one. Uh, <laughs> Jerry. Definitely no more. To all. Uh, <laughs> you want Terry? And Mike Oliver. I always ask for more. <laughs> yeah, you're a more, more man, aren't you? I think so. Okay. 
Never mind, Tony. I think, I think if it's what I think what we have to instead of looking at the at the increase, I think what you've got to work out is what we're going to offer the people of the town. If we're going to put it up by seven point five percent, what you will say to them at the end of town meeting or wherever, we you know, it's at this percentage because we want to do this, this, this and this and we you know, we want to, we want to be able to maintain the verges, we want to be able to put wildflowers in. I think if you've got a vision of why you are having it at that increase, it's easier than if you just try and think, well, we just want to keep it at 7.5% and then you're just trying to work out where you're going to put it. Mm. Sustainability of services in Amber. Well, Emma's absolutely right. 5.86 will be terribly unpopular. I can tell you from experience. Am I right? Yeah, so yeah. Well, funny enough, no. in the last few okay. years, we have not taken a lot of flack at either at <coughs> the town meeting or otherwise about the increases that we've made. Oh, and I think that the, I think there's a certain just degree of reluctant acceptance out there, particularly with the message that's come from us over the last few years, which is we're picking up things that EMC mm. used to do, yep. mm. Mm. like the toilets, what have you, um, the car park scenario and so on. Um, so I think there's a degree of goodwill out there. I think Emma's also right. I think if we can highlight one or two areas which go beyond what looks like a standstill, mm, yeah, and um, somehow we have to mm. try and promote that. Um, I think yeah, people are happy with what they're getting it's easier um, it's if they're not happy and you still put it up yeah check yeah and again, again you know as Mr Mayor has pointed out this is not my normal position but <laughs> it, um, <laughs> it is actually I mean when you look at two hundred and pounds and pence it's, it's you know we're talking about maybe 20 pounds a year on a band D council tax so it's you know it's less than a couple of pounds a month so it, mm. it isn't a massive amount of money to an individual household and that potentially would enable us <coughs> to, to do a better job of keeping the town maintained and looking attractive. So, yeah, reluctantly, I'm sort of with you. Mm. It's <laughs> the number of sort of cups of coffee mm. that it amounts to. It's not that many. But the the, the forty thousand thousand difference you know, between the two uh, two numbers, five point eight and seven virtually goes straight into um, paying off that, uh, you know, putting the reserves, doesn't it? We don't actually spend it. No, but it's there if we need it, which is, I think, more important. Mm. I mean, if you and I don't think we can get a loan just on... <coughs> we're, we're not... I, could, uh, I mean, I, I could go out and get a loan because I'm short of cash. I don't see how a council on a commercial basis can get a loan because they're short of cash. Uh, I don't see how that works. I don't think it looks good if you're doing that because it means you're not managing the budgets properly. And I don't even know whether you would... I don't think in a budget... Oh, no, I, I think you would know just get, get a loan loan other than for a capital project. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But then you'd have to go to a bank. No, that won't be at one and a half percent. No, no that's that's true. True. especially if it's short term. Yeah, that's going to be 15 plus, plus, I'd say. Yeah. Well, on council maybe five. Okay, so I don't mind standing up in front of you as long as you've got everybody Well, you're doing it. <laughs> That's your responsibility. Yes, Sorry, yeah, I can imagine. If you it, want to, just an example as a selling point, work out how much people have asked us for in grants this year mm. and what we've done. And if possible, some of that spare money, because the overall grant budget looks as if it's actually gone down marginally in there. Mm. Look at whether one could increase that grant budget slightly to say, look, we haven't been able to meet demand, so one of the things we're doing... Because that then appeals to potentially all the people who have benefited from our grant expenditure, and even the ones who didn't benefit, who think if they had more money in the budget we may have done, it actually hits quite a lot of people, relatively famously. Well, I was just thinking, if, if we calculate, I was really thinking yeah, in terms yeah. of 
presentation. We're getting ready for a presentation. In giving tones and excuses. How much have people asked us for in grant money this year as against what we have been able to spend? And just ensure that the grant budget for next year shows a, a modest increase. I mean, you could put, make the increase in the grants budget in percentage terms, what we've just said, 7.5% or whatever it is. And then you can show that we are responding to demand from local organisations, etc. And who are the grants given them? I don't know what you refuse. Well, I suppose yeah. if we go back over the agendas for the this year we'll be able to work it backwards and <coughs> see what people have asked us for. But well, when you look at you said well, the budget for this year is sixteen thousand, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. not fifteen, right. sixteen thousand, which is about put it up by thirteen, I think. Yeah. All right. But it, you know, it's a good it, it, you know, it's a way it will be solved. Yeah. Well it's just one yeah. selling point. I mean I'm yeah. sure we'll, it won't take an awful lot of imagination to come up with one or two other things yeah. that we can look at. Right. Uh, I mean actually just at this moment we get a lot of goodwill from the fantastic Christmas market we've just had. Mm -hmm. And yeah, this town right. packed out with people yeah. saying really nice things about the lights and so on. Well, they've become cheap. Yeah. yeah. Um, must admit, I've had a, couple, a lot of people say how fantastic the lights were. Yeah. yeah. And so, the lighting sat on Yeah. Well, it was in very safe hands. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. Okay, so. 7.5. It looks like it was 7.5 instead of 6.95. No, we're going 7.5 already. After all, it's only our recommendation to full council. Mm -hmm. There's what, three? Seems it's it's fine. Here. Pretty that pretty isn't good. actually no, half yeah, of the council. Everybody's here. How much does it increase the preset now? That extra one. 40,000. Five, five, five and a half to, to that, it was four, forty thousand pounds more. No, it's not four and a half. No, it's probably towards a thousand. Look at that line there. So where, where are we now? Probably no. close to that. Two percent on on four, four eight, 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 six. On preset. It's four thousand five hundred yeah. pounds on, on yeah. based on the thing you've got. So no, that's not right. What is it at the moment? 5.86 and what we must? It would be 7.5% for Oh, it's alright. I, I was looking at your 8.65. Eight yeah, if it's only 2%, if it's 2% above, it's only sort of another. 34.5%. Yeah. So it's not 34.5%. Okay. Where are you going to put it? Yeah. No, but we've already, it's not that the difference between 5.86 and 7.5 isn't for 34,000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So we just work out where, yeah, so we need to know where we're going to put it. Well, it's a very cheap holiday to Mauritius. I've done a little meeting. Yeah, it just goes in the reserves, doesn't it? Well, unless no. we just decide. No, we need, we've got to put it in the, we can't put it on the line saying put this in reserves. We've got to put it against something that we're going to spend it on. Or well, no, because we just argued that the reserves are too low. Well, yes, they are. So how do we get it back in the reserves? You can't just sell a license to get reserves. Well, no, you can. You oh, can have right. a contingency fund. Yeah, you okay. can have a contingency fund, that, uh, and you can also say if you want to increase your reserves by a certain amount, we will be putting this amount <coughs> of money into reserves. Okay. Roy. Um, one person always asks this question at the town meeting, he looks back over, and you, you've got it on one page from the end, he looks over um, our precept um, for uh, all the years going back to 2002. Mm. When you look back there and it was just under 130,000, and you're looking at, and even in some of the later years, you're only talking of a few thousand increase to the next year. And then we've got some enormous jumps in there, but this last one, we're looking at um, 27,000 increase from mm -hmm. last year. Yes. Um, and you know, there were two other years where it, in recent years, it's been big jumps. Mm. Um, so I've got to prepare myself. Well, we need to be aware of that and to be able to justify <coughs> if that's what we're going to do. But, 
Um, I do feel we've got to keep it. Yeah, I, I thought keep it tight. Yeah. The, the 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 number the percentage number looks revolting, mm. but the actual cash value of it per person in the town. Mm. Is not that bad. You know, no. we talk about you know, it's, it's less than a, no. mm. what it costs each of them per year is not a large sum of money, and it's very small relative to the rest of their rates bill. Yeah, the biggest bit being county and things like police and fire yeah. and the rest of it, we pale into insignificance in as a tiny, yeah. minuscule sum. But uh, nevertheless, when you look at these figures like this on what we spend, yeah. um, and it's gone up from one hundred and thirty thousand in 2002-03, up to uh, getting close to half a million now, you know, 486943, um, that is a massive increase in not that many years. No, uh, I, yeah, I don't think it's without trying, you know, over the no. you know, sort of period I've been around, you know, people have been trying to work out what we do with these big, you know, um, demanding assets that we've got. One of the interesting things about that, though, is that the tax base appears to have fallen by 365. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that seems... I can't so get my head around how um, that happens. Paul and I have been having a discussion about this because the figure that was on our on those um, going back, when I, I looked into it, it wasn't the actual figure that was certainly didn't match with the figure for the tax tax um, base for last year which was 188 so I don't know every year I've been phoning in and speaking to and some they've been giving him a number and I can't people. work out where that number has come they've from been many <laughs> <laughs> so that's why I'm really desperate to find which and on their website that. they haven't got past years you can't you can't yeah. simplify so I'm I do a freedom of information request because I simply failed to see how the tax base can go down by. Yeah, it has, and I'll just see the number that they've been Between 2018 19 and 2019 20. I mean, it, it, I would say that. If it had just continued to go up as, as it was doing by a very small numbers, yeah. yeah. and you had a tax base of about 2,300. And you can always see when there's quite a lot of houses being built because it jumps quite. It, uh, slightly yeah. more. Um, well, I don't know if that was spoken houses. houses. <laughs> that haven't been replaced in because I haven't noticed it. <laughs> <laughs> so even Roy's figure, correct? Even Roy's way of looking at this, this figure works out at about 5% per annum over that period. Mm. Which is, okay, we know inflation at the moment is only 2, 2.5, two but in previous years it's been higher than that. Mm. Um, but I think we're probably giving more, I don't know, 2002, are we giving the town more in services since then? I've no idea. We certainly paying a lot more for our third cutting. Well, certainly the buildings have got older. Mm. Yeah. Except this one. Even this one's got a yeah, this leaky one. roof. Yeah. But this one, we don't want to go backwards and be starting from where we're kind of starting from, from mm. the courthouse, for example, or the QBH. Mm. Yeah, okay. So we're not going to resolve the big asset problem. What we have done in this budget, I believe, is put enough cash in there to maintain <coughs> That's sensible. One of the things I yeah. looked at right at the start, going back to when we had that meeting, when the courthouse roof came up and we got all those projects, was trying to be more realistic in our budgeting. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So are we voting on the 7.5%? What have we got to do here? To agree? Yes. Yeah, 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 agree. Yeah. Um, so the recommendation is 7.82%. Sorry. 7.5%. Yeah. And what, what does that give? What would the preset be for that? Well, how much will we? How much more will it be than four hundred and eighty? It will be another seven thousand five hundred and forty pounds. So, how much is that in total? And all together, seven hundred and forty point one plus. So, the grand total will be four nine four four eight three point eight eight. 
with the great merit of remaining under 500,000, which is a psychological <laughs> barrier. <laughs> All right. Um, Tony can deal with that next year, can't he? Or whoever is there next year. Do we need a proposal for that then? Yeah. Yes, okay. Let's do, do we have that. a proposal and a seconder? And all those in favour? And all those against? Can I ask Roy why? Well, we just been through it. <laughs> 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 we couldn't grasp the question. I said I'd prefer it to be nearer to 5.86. Okay, but what are you going to do to get it down to 5.86? I, I think we can. I think I think it can be done. Okay. Yes, as a principle, it can be done. Yes, but yeah. but where? So tell me where, and um, let's look at it and see if we can. Well, I suppose the answer is it's there. If that's what that will be. Yeah. The difference we've done, arguably, is to put aside a sum of money into a contingency pot. Mm -hmm. That if not used, will go into reserves. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I think, I think the that's the explanation. It's between building in that margin and saying we can't afford to yet. Yeah. I think I think that's absolutely the point. I agree. I mean, the reason I support it is because I think it's sensible for us to make sure that we're not underfunding the services that we're looking to provide. But I, also, I think we need to do everything we possibly can throughout the next financial year to, to make savings wherever we can. And, and, and yeah. if we can build the reserves, then it means that next year we don't have to put another 7.5% and hopefully, yeah. you know, even if we're not able to reduce it, we can at least have a, have a year or two without increases. It's one of the things that we will have to look at very closely, and I hesitate to use the word the hub again, but what will be the impact if any, on the hub of what the school are going to launch with beans. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't. I, 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 I honestly think that will be very limited because the simple reason that the, 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 the uh, times that most of the activities that people want to take place in the hub, the, the, the school simply won't be available because they want it for their, their, their own purposes. Mm. So, you know, a lot of, I, think, I think a lot of the fitness clubs and and the QBH and other things, they won't get the chance to go in the sport hall because that's the kids who want it for, for during the week, during during daytime. I think it'll only affect the evening and maybe weekends. Yeah, but even, even the weekends, I suspect, you know, there's yeah. going to be limited availability. Okay, I, I think, you know, that the, 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 the cafe part of what they're doing in their facility is a part of the, the, our challenge, and the other one is the other rooms and so on that mm. they're going to have available. Um, so they did tell us this afternoon it's a very commercial operation mm. that they've got. It's not like the old swimming pool mm. where you know a few, few people used it. You know this is it's got to bring cash in for them. Mm. And you know I thought the bit about the beans uh, doing their catering for them was very interesting. Mm. <coughs> yeah. Well, it is because we offered beans and other outlets in the town the opportunity to run. The hub. the hub cafe yeah. on a franchise basis mm. nobody was interested then mm. so their, mm. their, their advantage will be football for won't it yeah. well they obviously assume it's going late, late football there than here going which later on to the day it's probably surprising with the library on site and surgery it will be but I think people will go there if you've got a membership to go there now not yeah. everybody can afford to do that yeah. so I don't think people will just go there to have a coffee I think they'll go and have a coffee once they've been and done whatever they want to do. Yeah. So, so we know with the hub we get a lot of the the, the, the businesses when we've got somebody hiring <coughs> in one of the rooms that mm. you know they, they, they gather down there. And the other thing is the hub doing exactly what it's supposed to do. It's a community yeah. centre. And, and yeah. the activities that people take place uh, in, in a QBH and the hub it costs them a few pounds a session. Mm. It's not it's not ten pounds or fifteen yeah. pounds a session. Mm. It's a couple of pounds. Mm -hmm. and, and they're not going to be able to compete with that. No. <coughs> but the use of our rooms is a, is a bigger worry I've got, you know, with the, the, the sports thing going on at the, mm -hmm. uh, at the um, wharf there and mm -hmm. the, these people. Yeah. So we're going to keep on with the, the marketing of what we've got. Mm -hmm. And I think yeah, one of the targets for next year is just again looking at that marketing and saying what we're going to do. All right, look, we've got a number to go forward with 7.5%, and, and I'm supporting the 7.5%. 
only because the people standing just behind me. <laughs> and if I turn around, you're not there. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, the, we, we do, you know, I'm very conscious of where Andal Precept is compared to the yeah. surrounding villages. Um, and the, the reason I sort of calm down a bit is because back into cash terms per month, it isn't a lot of pounds. It just looks horrible. Mm. Yeah. And for that, you get facilities that are unmatched anywhere in the country. You certainly do. I mean, there's a beautiful tree. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, we, we've mentioned it before, but everybody in there loves the lights. And I know you were yeah. a big part of that. Yeah. Uh, it, it you didn't a, allow the committee to take over. It was a very good, uh, yeah. good day on Saturday. Yeah. And we've had some really good feedback, yeah. which makes it worthwhile. Very busy. Yeah. Yeah. Right then, yeah. so on to any other business. One. Just missed the 8.30 slot there, but... Um, yeah, it's your fault. Yeah, it was. Keep going on Rabbit about this. Bloody on and on and on. Any other business, then, Biddy? Just a yes. brief update. I'm just going to keep my email to um, This is related to the um, uh, cycle parts, and uh, I, I said I would contact mm -hmm. um, Transition Handle, and, all, and yeah. uh, in, in the end they contacted me, so I contacted them, because they'd listened to the recording for the last four council. Yes. Where are you then? <laughs> so, they, so anyway, uh, Thursday this week I am meeting with, why can't I find the email? I'm meeting with uh, someone from the highways and someone from Transition. Oh, right. Okay. Uh, so we're going to walk the the, route, the cycle route, um, I think it's their, their cycle route one, um, and they're, right. they're, 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 they're very positive about being able to come up with a firm plan to do that within the time scale that we need to do it. So I'll let you know. Excellent. Okay. Good. Nice, thank you. Tell anybody else? Oh, gone. Sorry. Oh, I can't find it. Sorry. No, sorry. We, we know you're walking the route and beating yeah. the bounds. And, yeah. Shall I put it on the full council agenda? Yes. It, yeah. Well, I'll confirm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. we'll I'll put a slot in it and then yeah, we can I'll not it use it because yeah. your deadline. What is the deadline? It'll be Thursday. So it, okay. you'll, you'll be walking the route. When the agenda goes out, so I'll put it on. Put it on, and then you say nothing to report. Yeah. So, yeah. Anybody else? Okay. Uh, yes, this sheet, which is the S one hundred and six yes. sheet, um, I have always found that difficult to read. I think it's very clunky and bitty and not right. easy on the eye. So, if everybody's agreeable. I'd like to speak to. We almost like a volunteer. See if we can make it more user friendly. Yeah, please do. Yeah. And um, also, those 20, the following two years, I know we're not voting on this now, but how we've got a, it's only a minus in a couple of years, I'm not quite sure. So I'd like to, before yeah. night's camp, before a full council meeting, I'd like to, like to try and look at the okay. following two years to try and tidy those up a bit if I can, if that's okay with everyone. Nobody's going to stop you doing that. <laughs> All right, so back to so Joe. Yes. This is yes. David Wood from Transition Handel and yep. Neil Holland from Highways who are going to go for a walk with us around yep. the route. Uh, or oh, I'm going to go for a walk with them rather than <laughs> with <Yes>. us <laughs> around the route uh, on Thursday afternoon and we'll yep. let you know. So just on the Hillfield part of that, is there any of our sensitive areas in Hillfield where ENC want us to take over responsibility for them? Um, I think that was Chris that more off Creed Road. Oh no, no, there was off. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, true. It, may, it might be, be useful to Jerry to be aware of any, yeah, any, any sensitive areas. I'll look because out until that map. until Jerry, we take them over. Yeah. Then obviously the responsibility of uh, for Simon. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll look out the map that they yeah. sent. Mm. Yeah, because I get you know, all the little. The, the, yeah, because there's sometimes they talk about la land between Creed, Creed Road and Hillfield mm. Road. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, it's, uh, from what I remember, that's exactly where they want to put the cycle way. Okay, David. All right then, well, thank you very thank much. You. And we'll move a full council next Tuesday. Next yeah. Tuesday. So we'll PDH move. before. Up, up. Yeah, yeah. Just put that for seven o'clock. I don't think we'll have an yeah. hour. So the only thing I oh, mentioned well, in the, your agenda for. Sorry, this meeting is now closed. Um, <laughs>